hello lovelies and welcome to my channel once again where we create magic so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i make this bow tie hairband but before we get started please if you've not subscribed do what to subscribe comment like and share and to my return subscribers hats off to you you guys are the real deal god bless you so much now let's get to it <music> So for this hairband, I'll be making use of this anchor piece and then this elastic, my shock, my tape, my scissors and of course my sewing machine, okay? So the first thing I'm going to be doing is to set all these things aside and then measure out what is needed for this hairband, okay? This hairband is something you can do with any pieces you have lying around just put it to good use just like i'm doing right now okay so first of all i'm going to measure out um the bow tie itself all right now i'll start by measuring out um six by six like because it's going to be a square so to make it a perfect square i'm going to make a measure out six inches length and six inches width all right six inches length and six inches width i have to adjust this to make it get to what i want so six inches length six inches width so i'll just go ahead and cut this out all right so after i'm done cutting this out i'm going to measure out another one because this um, bow tie is gonna be a two-step bow tie all right not just one so I'm going to go ahead and measure out the second one right now, which is going to be a smaller one that will be on top of this big one. All right. So I'll measure out four by four, four inch length, and then four inch width. All right. This will give you a perfect square. Okay. Four by four. And after I'm done marking this, I'll just go ahead and then cut this out so now that i'm done cutting this is what we have okay so i guess you understand the concept now yeah so i'm going to go ahead and cut out the scrap this piece okay which i'm still going to be using to um wrap the hairband by the time i'm done okay so keep watching to understand what i'm saying then i'll go ahead and fold this remaining material into two then give it a fold and then measure out one and a half width so by the time i open it up it's going to be giving me three inches okay so measure out one and a half make sure it's up to one and a half and then cut it through okay now if you're wondering the length of this um uh, uh, piece that i'm cutting now the length of this piece is 13 inches which means when you open it up it's going to be giving you 26 inches remember it is folded into two okay so this is it 13 inches as you can see so when it is opened up it's giving you 26 inches all right so that is the length of that piece now that we are done cutting the next thing to do is to go ahead and sew everything up okay now i'm going to start by sewing this sewing the round as in sewing it up okay now just go ahead and sew it this way Yep. Then when I get to the end, I raise it up and flip it and then keep going. Now with the needle inside again, turn it and flip it. Now I'll go keep on sewing until I've sewn um everything up. Okay, I will do this like I did the big one. 
just keep sewing keep sewing like that okay now for this um, long piece I'm just going to go ahead and fold this into two and then sew it straight okay just sew straight like that fold and just make a straight stitch and I'm going to do the same for the long piece as well just sew it straight okay yeah I'll just open this up and then so So now that I'm done sewing, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to trim off the thread. Okay, trim off the excess thread anywhere it is. I'm just going to go ahead and trim it off and then turn everything out to the right part, to the right side. Okay, so before I turn this um, bow out, I'm going to go ahead and trim off the edges. The reason why I'm trimming that out is by the time I turn it, I'm going to be having um, flat edges, okay? So I'll just slash this open a little bit. And then from that opening, I'll just go ahead and turn it out. So once I'm done turning out this one, I'll just go ahead and turn out the rest. For the long ones, I'll just go ahead, I'll just use my safety pin to um, turn it out, okay? So now that I'm done turning everything out, I'll just go ahead to iron this, okay? So now that I'm done with the ironing, the next thing to do is to start working on the um, piece proper, alright? So I'll just take the small one and then place it on the big one and then fold them up together. Just watch how I do this, okay? Just with... I just fold it by giving it tiny tiny pleats tiny pleats tiny pleats like that okay now you see this is it just 
you place the both of them together from one point to the other then i'll just go ahead and tie this up using this thread okay tie it up very well make sure it is very tight and secured so that it doesn't pull or scatter okay just tie it very very well okay yeah so it well so when you are done with this this is what you have okay see how cute that is huh so cute now i'm going to go ahead and cut off this um ss thread cut off this thread yeah so this ball the ball part is ready this is what you have isn't this cute it is so cute oh so so cute <laughs> so cute yeah so now i'll go ahead and pick the um long strap and then fix the elastic into it with the help of my safety pin okay yeah just fix this into it So when you're done fixing, make sure that the elastic is well relaxed on the inside. That is the reason why I'm stretching it out like that. Not when you stretch it, it will be tight kind of. No, make sure it is well relaxed and um, well placed on the inside. Okay, because if it is too tight, it's gonna give um, kind of headache when you wear it or when the person puts it on. All right. So make sure it is well relaxed on the inside and not too tight okay so i'll just go ahead and stitch that up like that make sure you stitch it nice and firm okay so this is what you have and then i'll just take the bow and place it on this um like this place it like that okay you see the way i'm placing it right now okay not the other way around mm -mm. no 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 you place it like this this is the right way to place it now you take this small strap and then wrap it around the both of them okay wrap it around the both of them and then go ahead and sew it up sew it up like that when sewing it up make sure it is tight and not um loose okay sew it up as tight as you can all right So now we're done sewing this and cutting off the excess. The next thing to do is to turn it in because you don't want that seam to show, okay? If it's showing, it's going to look rough and it won't look nice at all. So with the help of my scissors, um, I'll just turn it, all right, so that uh, the seam will be hidden on the inside, okay? So just turn, turn it like that. You just do this carefully, okay? You just keep turning until you've turned it very well. Can't wait to start. You should call the police. Now I even can breathe. You love me. 
So now that we're done turning this out, this bow tie hairband is ready. Okay, it is so so ready. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned how to do this as well. Okay, and I also hope that you'll be trying this at home. Alright, so this is it it is so so ready you can make this for yourself you can make this for your little one and yeah that's it see you guys in my next video bye